What is going on guys and welcome to this episode of Jag Fishing. Today we are doing something that's a little bit out of my channel's element. We are going to be trapping some squirrel and we are going to be doing a catch and cook with squirrels. Now real quick before we get started I want to let you guys know I am extremely limited to the stuff I can put on YouTube right now. I actually just had a baby, me and my beautiful wife Lauren. We just had a newborn. Uh, he came into this world about three days ago and I really cannot stray too far away from the house. I got to be there for him. So we're actually doing some backyard squirrel trapping today. Actually, the way I came up with this video is kind of funny. I really don't have the luxury of time to just sit behind the house on one of my tree stands or under a tree with my 22 and actually go and shoot these squirrels. So today we are going to be doing something different. We are going to be doing something I actually saw on the Wooded Beardsman channel and we are going to be trapping these squirrels using rat traps. That's right guys, rat traps. That's how we're going to be doing it today. We are going to be using this bad boy. I think I paid like $1.50 or something for it in Lowe's and it's gonna get us some dinner today hopefully at least so we're gonna be using the rat traps and what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna fix this to a tree i actually do have a screw gun in my backpack and we're gonna screw this thing into a tree so we can ensure something that's just walking around on the bottom doesn't really go after it we want to make sure we catch ourselves a squirrel so hence why i'm gonna fix this to a tree probably two or three feet up something like that and then we're gonna bait it with some peanut butter now I have seen a bunch of gray squirrels running around here, so I'm really hopeful of getting one of those. There are some red squirrels, those are smaller. I really want a gray squirrel, there's just a lot more meat on it, and it's gonna be a good time. So let's not waste any time, let's go get this thing set up. Let's go. Oh yeah, yep. This right here, guys, is gonna be the place where we are going to place our trap. This is the tree. This is one of the bigger trees on the property, actually, and it looks to be the money spot. Now, I have seen squirrels going up and down this particular tree a couple of times. Um, it's fairly close to the house, so I'm gonna be able to come back and check this quite often, see if we got anything. So we're not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna take my backpack off, and we are actually going to drill one screw through the actual trap into the street just about here, and hopefully we'll have a squirrel by the end of the day. Now I'm going to be placing this right over here. Does it look natural? Absolutely not. Is it gonna work? I'm positive it will. So just like that, it actually cracked, so that's not good. But guess what, it's gonna hold it in place. It's gonna do exactly what we need it to do. And if anything, we have a big old chain over here. <laughs> that uh, That's actually embedded on the other side into the tree, so it's got some history to it, that's pretty cool. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna open up some of this peanut butter, and I'm just gonna smear it right over here. So this is what I got over here. Got a little bit of peanut butter. And it's actually the crunchy kind, so it like comes in with nuts and stuff like that. So I'm just smearing it all around here. Hopefully it'll spark the interest of some. That's good stuff. I want a PB&J right now. But yeah, hopefully it'll spark the interest of some willing squirrel to eat some peanut butter. And we'll be able to get it. So without further ado, let's set this thing up. And just like that, it is ready to go. I hate setting these things up. I always get so paranoid. I'm gonna like freaking catch my finger in it, but she is ready to go. All we need is a squirrel to get up on there and it's game on. So let's see what happens guys. All right guys, so it is about 7.30 right now in the morning, following day. And I just saw a squirrel in those woods over there and we are gonna go check her. Oh, there's squirrels all over the trap. Oh, 
<laughs> guys, we got one. We got a squirrel down, baby. We got a squirrel down. Oh, this is awesome. Hang on, guys. I'm taking this camera off. So here's what we're looking at, guys. There's the trap right there. I see it went off. And down below, well, there it is. We got ourselves a nice, big old gray squirrel. Heck yeah. Nice, beautiful male. Okay, so there we go. Uh, this is awesome, because with this, we're gonna be able to do the catch and cook portion, or cook, rather, um, portion of the video. So that's awesome. So we're gonna try to MacGyver something together. The good thing is she's still really, really warm, or he rather, and we're just gonna skin this thing up real quick, and then we're gonna let it age overnight in the fridge, and tomorrow we'll be cooking, so heck yeah. I'm super excited, guys. I am really happy. I think I'm okay with one squirrel. I don't think I'm gonna reactivate the trap. Um, I literally saw two different squirrels running around here right when I was coming up to the trap site but i'm super excited this is awesome we got ourselves a big beautiful big big beautiful squirrel guy looks awesome we're gonna take him back to the house right now clean him up and uh yeah we'll take it from there all right guys so first and foremost you know i want to make it very clear that i do not mean any disrespect by having gloves on i know a lot of people do it normally i don't i'm huge on paying my respects to any animal uh, any life i take and the reason is i like i said at the beginning of the video we have a newborn in there the wife is you know outside the window so all she's got to do is just give me a shot and i'm gonna be in if something happens or the baby needs something i don't want to waste time washing my hands and stuff like that so i just want to be as respectful to the animal but at the same time i feel like i owe you guys an explanation as to why i have gloves on i know it may be weird to some of you but anyway here it goes so we got this beautiful specimen right here of this gray squirrel okay and we are gonna skin him and guys actually when i went inside to grab a couple of my things i got a little brine going all i did was put a little bit of oregano basil um all seasoning mix montreal steak seasoning and a lot of pepper and salt in the brine so it's uh, on a slow simmer right now what we're gonna do with that we're gonna cook it up to a boil mix it all up and then let it just cool off naturally once it cools off that's where we're gonna put the squirrel meat over there. I'm gonna let it um, sit in there for about 24 hours. So the cook portion we'll be doing tomorrow. And I'm still yet to figure out exactly what I wanna do with this. I'm thinking fried, but I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, right now we are gonna take care of the squirrel and we are going to clean him up and I wanna to try to show you guys how I do it. All right guys, so there's two methods that I know to quickly skin a squirrel. One is you make an incision right here on this skin and then just essentially pull it apart makes it nice and easy you're taking the shirt off and the pants off and the second way is you take the tail you make an incision right under it and you cut through the tailbone but you do not actually go through the skin and then you just pull it apart all right guys here we go this is what i got right now we are done processing the squirrel we got a couple of good pieces on there not a lot but it's, you know again just for one squirrel so what i'm thinking i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take it inside right now and throw it in the brine overnight we'll take it back out tomorrow and then what we're probably gonna do is we're probably gonna boil it for about i don't know 90 minutes or so and once it tenderizes and it's nice and soft we're probably just gonna sear it with some seasoning over um, a cast iron pan so we'll probably end up doing that so with that being said i'll see you guys tomorrow for the cook portion of this video heck yeah all right guys so we are coming into the cooking portion of this video today and i have the squirrel in the fridge right now i'm about to take it out and we are going to do a taste test on the squirrel i decided what kind of recipe i'm going to use but for the taste test i have two special guests with me I got my kids here with me. This is my daughter Aria. That's my boy Valo. I threw the idea at him. I said, hey, do you guys want to try squirrel? And well, what did they say? Yeah! I swear, this is not scripted. They're actually this excited about it. All right, guys, so here's the squirrel. This is what we're working with. It's been marinating for about two days. And we are going to take this thing out and just pour it in here. There we go. Woo, I can smell that seasoning right now. It's smelling good. Mm -hmm. this out. You got, can you guys get a whiff of that? That smells good, huh? That smells delicious. Yeah, so we got, let's see, one, two, 
three pieces of scroll so and i guess a little piece that fell off from something but we'll utilize it too so you got three pieces there's three of us each one of us is going to try one piece so i actually have had scroll before i know what it tastes like i do like it but however my kids haven't had any scroll yet so today is going to be the first time trying what do you guys think it's going to taste like do you guys think it's gonna, you're going to like it do you think it's going to taste like deer you guys had deer before what's up honey I think it will taste like frog. I love frog. <laughs> you think it's gonna taste like frog? Oh, well, we'll find out. We'll see if it tastes like frog to you. What about you, buddy? Maybe frog. Yeah, you think it's gonna taste like frog too? It's gonna taste like squirrel. I think it might taste like squirrel, but squirrel is pretty unique. It actually tastes like um, rabbit, if you guys ever had it, which I don't think I ever gave you rabbit before so we're gonna find out if these kids like it or not super excited and if you guys made it this far in this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up leave a comment down below share the video with your friends and show some love and if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button right down there so it's good for you let's get to cooking let's get to cooking all right so we got this thing coming to a boil i'm gonna throw some salt in the water not too much just enough that's about it Daddy, can I help you? Yeah, of course, honey. Why don't you come over here? Come here so you can get in the camera view. There you are. Now my daughter is going to throw in some of this Montreal steak seasoning. So there you go, baby. It's open. Why don't you just shake it into the pot, and I will tell you when to stop. Just keep going. Give it a good shake. Give it a good shake. Perfect. That looks good. All right, awesome. So we got those two basic seasonings in right now and we're gonna throw the squirrel in here in just about like a couple of minutes because it's really coming to a good good boil right now and then we're gonna let it boil for about half an hour and i'll get back to you guys when we're gonna take this thing out all right guys so it's been about 45 minutes since the last time i saw you guys i just checked up on the squirrel it looks nice and tender it's exactly where we want it to be so now we're just going to transfer it over from here to a plate we're going to pat it dry we're going to add some seasoning we're going to get the bacon grease warmed up and then we're just going to sear it up on that and we are ready to go also got some rice waiting already so let's do this all right guys so we're just going to add a little bit of salt not too much we're going to add a little bit of the Montreal steak seasoning. A little bit of the Everglades heat because I love this stuff. It's really good. Garlic powder. And drench it in parsley flakes because I love these things. I'm going to be extremely liberal with this. There we are. And now we're going to flip this thing over and do the same to the other side. Perfect. So there it is. Now we have that nice and ready to go. All I'm going to do is I am going to get this stove top going. Get some of that bacon grease melted on this one. And we're going to transfer this over, fry it up. All right, guys. We have our pieces of scroll right here seasoned up. Now we are going to slowly apply them over here and just let it work its magic. There you go. Oh, we I can hear that sizzle already. Oh yeah, now that we got oil on this side, I'm going to take more of that leftover seasoning I got. I'm just going to gently sprinkle some around on top. More seasoning, the better. I love it. It's a good combination we got going on here. All right, guys, this is honestly looking damn good. I am surprised how good it looks. It looks amazing. I've never had scrub this way, so this is a first for me too. Um, if I turn the camera this way there's our plates of rice ready to go we're just waiting on the scroll to finish up and well i'm just gonna flip it over one last time for about 30 seconds and we're gonna take this thing out come along all right i just turned the gas off we're gonna take this scroll out we're gonna place it on this paper towel just get all that grease off of it because i want to show you guys on a white surface how amazing this looks right now i mean jeepers Whew. There we go, got it out here. Let me get this thing out of the way. There you guys go, look at that. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't care who you are, that looks good right there. All right, so there's the final product. You got our piece of scroll right here over some rice and everything is served. Hold on, buddy, hold on. <laughs> Before we start eating, what do you guys think? How's it look? It looks, it, lo it looks like it's gonna be what do you think, honey? It looks like this is a leg. Yep, and th these actually look like little chicken legs, don't they? <laughs> yeah. So, guys, um, why don't we give it a taste test real quick? And, Aria, why don't you start with that little piece right here? Yeah. Okay, it's a nice little piece. I want you to do the honors. Go ahead. 
Let's see how it is. Amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. You really like it? Good job, honey. Heck yeah. Ow. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> Not bad? Yeah. These kids try. love it. Mm. Yep, that's good. What squirrel is this? Red squirrel? Gray squirrel? Gray. This is gray squirrel. Mm hmm. Yep. No, it's really good. The seasoning from the brine really went through. I really like it. It's really good. Um, yeah, definitely a good idea to <laughs> get yourself some squirrel and then cook it up. It's a delicious little treat. The kids like it. Super excited. And guys, thank you so much for joining us on this video. We're going to finish off our meal right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Wait. And until next time, guys. What? If you guys never tried it, squirrel, just get a squirrel like <laughs> Sustainability, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. And until next time, see ya. Bye.